everyone. Welcome back to Sydney and Starlet. And if you are new here, wake up. Welcome. Enjoy the videos. Videos. So today, me and Sydney are going to be reading a little golden book. Book, the Little Christmas Elf. Yes, we do know it's not Christmas yet, but Sydney wanted to read this book, so that's what we're going to do. So let's begin. Tap tap tap. It was Christmas Eve in Santa's workshop. Nina sat at the wooden work table with the other busy elves. She would barely see over the table, but she didn't mind. Nina was the littlest elf in the workshop, but this year she was big enough to join in during toy making session. Her chance had finally come. Nina, you'll have to work faster if that teddy bear is going to be ready for Christmas," said the biggest elf. "Okay, Elvis, I'll try," said Nina as she stuffed cotton into the little bear. She hummed and bobbed her head as she worked, making sure that the cotton got all the way down to the bear's toes. Nina had been working on her bear all day, but she was beginning to worry that she wouldn't finish it in time. Finished," sang an elf at the end of the table. "Me too," another elf chimed in. "Tada!" cried the third elf. Everyone clapped for them. "Hey, it's dark outside," said Elvis. "Let's plug in the Christmas lights." As the workshop lit up, the elves began to sing, "Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way." One by one, the other elves finished their toys. Trains, dolls, and blocks sat drying on the table. Would you like some help, Nina? Asked a friendly elf. No, thank you, Holly. Said Nina, trying to smile. I really want to do it myself. Elves cleaned their places at the table. Elves went outside to play in the snow. Suddenly, there was a loud sound of hoofbeats. Santa's here with the reindeer! Someone shouted. All the elves ran out of the workshop and crowded around Santa and his sleigh. Tears filled Nina's eyes. She still had so much work to do, work to do. Meanwhile, the elves began to load the toys into huge red sacks and toss them into the sleigh. Santa came inside and stood next to Nina. His mustache twitched. "You're doing a fine job," he said. "But I don't think he'll be finished in time." Nina looked down at her bear. "No, Santa," she said in a small voice. "Well, don't give up, Nina," said Santa. "We can always save your bear for next year." With that, Santa left the workshop. Alone in the workshop, Nina watched Santa's sleigh soar into the night sky. But she remembers what Santa told her about not giving up, so she turned back to the work table. Nina finished stuffing the bear. She sewed on two button eyes, a nose, and then a smile. Finally, she stitched on a heart. Nina held the bear up high. She was finished, and what a fine bear he was! He would make a child very happy. But not until next year," sighed Nina as she placed the bear on the table. With a yawn, she headed toward the workshop door. Who should be standing outside? Who should be standing just outside? But Santa! He was already back from delivering the presents. Ho ho ho! He laughed. You sure are up for. You sure are up late for a little elf. Yes, Santa said. Nina, I wanted to finish my bear. Thank goodness you didn't give up," said Santa. Just when I finished my deliveries, a new baby was born. I didn't have any toys left for the for the little one. Nina's eyes grew wide. Is my bear for the new baby? Yes, indeed. If it weren't for you, Nina, that poor little baby would be the only child without a gift this Christmas. Nina ran and got the bear. She held it out to Santa, but he didn't take it. I think you should come with me for such a special delivery," he told Nina, scooping her up into the sleigh. "Ho ho ho! It'll be a gift for the littlest baby from the littlest elf." 
and they headed off into the night. Aww. The? Is. The end. So that is it for today, everyone. We really hope you all enjoyed it, and we will see you all next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Pick out your favorite. Pick out your favorite page. It's a great page. Who's your favorite character? What about the elf? Wait! The train? Okay. Bye-bye.